Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick follow-up on the previous tutorial. I wanted this to be a part of the previous one, but I was feeling a bit sick and didn't manage to record everything in one piece. Okay, so you know how to create a text header with its background spanning to full width of the browser, but what if we want to put something more than text inside, like an icon for example? Well, it's pretty much the same. Let's create one now, but before we do that, I'd like to show you how to fix a small glitch in the header. As you probably saw, there was some uh, strange behavior when we, when the design changed the breakpoint. As you can see, the header is, is jumping a bit, or to be precise, its height is changing. And the, the same happens when published. Luckily this can be easily fixed and it's actually happening because at the larger breakpoint there's the height of the header is static and on the lower one it's auto. So we can easily change that. Set the top one to auto. And let's make sure. That the inner uh, container is positioned with paddings. Okay, it seems fine. Let's publish. Yeah, no more jumping. Okay, let's prepare the project for another header. I'm going to move to the larger breakpoints so the DOM is editable now. Let's remove some text to make place. Let's move everything to the top. Sorry. Okay, and add drag to create another copy. We'll choose a, another cool color for the background. And for the moment, I'm just going to set the origin to the left so it's easier to work with. And that way I can change the width. Okay, let's add a nice icon. That's a cool one. We'll set it to high DPI. We don't need that padding on the left hand side. But let's group those two together. Okay, let's check how that previous was done. Okay, it had 600 pixels. Let's do some small tweaks just to line up. Okay, and let's check how it behaves. Okay, so we need to have 
some we need to set the origin to the center and now we also need to set it to 600 sorry I should have done that earlier and we also need for the whole group to have 20 pixel padding just so it's lined up okay we need to fix some issues here let's make it somewhere around here okay and now we can adjust to the side okay let's see how it behaves it's quite nice there probably will be problems on the lower breakpoint because we didn't do that for the moment but we'll make a fix but on the larger breakpoint everything seems fine so let's just recap what needs to be done uh, you need a background that is 100% wide and you know, need an inner container which has static width and we chose 600 uh, just because uh, it's easier to show you guys that okay let's adjust uh, the lower breakpoint now so let's see what happens here Okay, this is obviously too wide. As I remember, this probably should be done in pixels set to 100, uh, sorry, per, in percentages set to 100%. I'm not sure why this is. set to the bottom okay let's double check okay it shouldn't have that height set it should have height set to auto So probably we need to fix just a tiny bit more here. Or let, let's actually use use that and see it's at one point five five percent, uh, but probably on we should use pixels so let's see how it looks on the larger let's see how many pixels we've got if we would use pixels we would have nine pixels from the side so let's use nine pixels as well Okay, it seems almost perfect now. There's some issue with, with that top margin here. Under the larger breakpoint it's 31, so let's click that and now everything should be fine. it's perfect and also let me show you another thing 
let's add another background image but this time using uh, using background not an actual image like here because this one will be converted to an image tag as you can see but let's change the top header now so it also has an icon but using the background image it's pretty easy actually even easier than the previous one let's start at a larger break breakpoint and we want to have some smoking thought icon and I will use background for this text area okay so let's choose an image one from library select okay and I don't want to repeat that image I need it to be 20 pixels from from the left hand side so exposition will be 20 pixels oops sorry and let's just add some pixels from the top so it's lined up nicely okay I think it's it's looking good <coughs> and what we want uh, also what you want to uh, make sure that you're doing I'm not setting the background of the containing element I'm setting the background of the header uh, just the text and probably it should be some h1 or h2 tag but ignore this for the moment let's see how it behaves okay it's moving with the text because uh, obviously it's it's the background of that text element so now we want to make sure that the text uh, has additional padding and let's just eyeball this okay it looks fine for me let's test it as you can see it's already working on the lower breakpoint because it was applied uh, as I said in an easier way okay guys I hope that you find this useful and Watch out for some new tutorials. Thanks for watching and bye bye.